Hey what's up everyone? So in this video we're gonna continue working on the enemy AI behavior. Recently we've added the idle and the patrol states. Now if we are close to the enemy, as you can see he's chasing. And if we are too close, he's attacking. So before we get started, don't forget to watch my first videos. We are making a third person game. Also don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel and hit the bell icon, I appreciate that. And let's jump right into it. So here's what we left off from the previous video. We've added this nightmare dragon. Then we've used the state machine behavior to switch between the idle and the patrol states. Our enemy can go from idle to patrol and from patrol to idle. But we need to make it a little bit aggressive. And to do that, we are going to check if we are close to the enemy. He will switch to a chase state. Then if we are too close, he will start attacking. And to do that, we need to open up the animator component. Just double click on the nightmare dragon under the hierarchy. Then under this animator window, we have these two states, idle and patrol. Let's add a new one. So here we've downloaded a pack that contains some dragons. Under the animations folder, let's look at the dragon nightmare, which is this character. In this video, we're gonna use the run animation as the chase state. So we need to drag it under the animator window. And let's change its name to chase state. Then to transition to this state, we're gonna add transitions. So our enemy can switch from idle to chase or from patrol to chase if we are close to him. That's why I'm gonna make a transition using right click, make transition from idle to chase and from patrol to chase as well. Then we need to add a parameter to control this transition. Under the parameters tab, let's add a new one. I'm gonna select a boolean. Let's call it is chasing. Then whenever we set this parameter to true from our script, our enemy will transition from his idle or patrol states to the chase state. And to set that, we need to select the transition. Then under conditions, let's add the condition is chasing true. And make sure to remove has exit time. The same thing for this one. Let's add the same condition is chasing true and remove has exit time. We've talked about the state machine behavior in our previous video, so make sure to check it out. Now we need to add the logic to check if we are close to the enemy. And we're gonna add that under the scripts that we have created in our previous video, like the idle state script. And here we are going to get the player and check for the distance. That's why we need to add a player variable using transform. Let's call it a player. And to get the transform of our player, we're gonna use game object dot find object with tag. We can get any one of these objects using its tag, like the player, which has the tag player by default. Then let's go back to the script and under the on state enter, let's initialize the player variable using game object dot find object with tag. We give it the name, which is player dot transform to access the transform of our player. Then under the on state update, which is called over and over again when the enemy is idle, each time we are going to calculate the distance from the player, which we're gonna put inside a new variable. The type is float. Let's call it distance equals. We have this vector three dot distance, which takes two positions. We're gonna give it the player position using player dot position. And to access the enemy position, we use the animator variable. We can access the animator using this parameter dot transform dot position. Then we can check if the distance is less than a certain range like eight. In such case, we're gonna change the parameter that we have created using animator dot set bool we give it the name of the boolean 
we've called it is chasing then true and instead of using this 8 value let's use a new variable which is a float I'm gonna call it chase range equals 8 then under here we're gonna check if the distance is less than the chase range in such case our enemy will transition to the chase state by changing the boolean is chasing true but make sure to use the same name is chasing you could copy it from the parameters tab then we're gonna add the same logic to the patrol state so let's open up the patrol state script then I will just copy and paste because we have the same logic we're going to calculate the distance under the on state update also we need to add a reference to the player transform player and let's use ctrl c and ctrl v to initialize it under the on state enter the same thing we have a chase range let's use the same value now let's save our scripts and go back into unity and let's move the enemy a little bit far from our player by default he's idle then after 5 seconds he will switch to the patrol state and if we go close to him as you can see he's chasing we have the run animation that is played but we didn't add the logic to move the enemy towards the player and to do that we are going to add another script using add behavior let's call it chase state as well then hit enter twice and let's open it up in visual studio then let's uncomment these three methods so this script is gonna work each time our enemy is chasing in such case we're gonna move it towards the player and the easiest way is by using the nav mesh agent component recently we've added a nav mesh agent component to the enemy now we can move it inside our map using the set destination method we will just give it the player position and the enemy will go towards the player and to do that I will just copy and paste first we need to add a reference to the nav mesh agent component so we've added this logic inside the patrol state in this state we are moving the enemy from one waypoint to another we could use the same agent component under the chase state and it's very easy to get this component we can use animator.getComponentNavMeshAgent but make sure to use the namespace unityengine.ai then under the onState update we can move our enemy towards the player using agent dot set destination this takes the player position so we need to add another reference using transform player and let's initialize it using player equals game object dot find object with tag we give it the player tag then dot transform and let's pass it in using player dot position you could also change the speed of the agent each time we enter the chase state under the on state enter we can change the speed of the agent using agent dot speed equals 3.5 but if the enemy is patrolling we can change the speed to a lower value using agent dot speed equals 1.5 and whenever we exit the chase state we are going to stop the enemy using agent dot set destination and we're gonna pass in its current position using animator dot transform dot position and that's how we can stop the agent or the enemy so let's test our state machine again by default the enemy is idle and if I'm close to him as you can see he's chasing but the problem is whenever we are too close he's not attacking because we haven't added the attack state and to do that we can add the attack state if we are close to the enemy for example let's use one of the animations like the basic one 
or let's use the claw attack I think it's better we need to drag it under the animator component then let's make transition from chase to attack and from attack to chase then to control these transitions let's add another parameter I'm gonna call it is attacking then we can transition from chase to attack if we set the boolean is attacking to true of course we need to remove has exit time and the same thing for this transition but for this condition we're gonna use is attacking false if we change this boolean to false our enemy will transition back to the chase state and if we are far away from him we need to transition back to idle or patrol that's why I'm gonna make a transition from chase to patrol then to control this transition let's use the boolean is chasing if we change it to false our enemy will transition to his patrol state the same thing remove has exit time then let's open up the chase state script so that we can check if we are far away from the enemy we're gonna change the boolean is chasing to false basically we need to calculate the distance and because I'm a little bit lazy, let's copy these lines of code and add it under the onState update of the chase state. Each time we are going to get the distance and if it's greater than a certain range, for example 15, in such case we are going to change the boolean is chasing to false. But if we are too close, let's add if distance is less than 3 or 2.5 then we can change the boolean is attacking to true using animator dot set boolean the first parameter is the name is attacking then true so this is the attack range and finally we need to add another script to the attack state I'm gonna change the name to attack state as well and let's add behavior I'm gonna call it attack state then let's open it up First, let's uncomment these methods. Here we will just calculate the distance between the player and the enemy using these lines of code. Of course, we need to add a reference to the player using transform player. And to get it, we're gonna use game object dot find object with tag. Then if the distance is greater than four or 3.5, we're gonna change is attacking to false. Also, we need to make sure that the enemy is facing the player when he's attacking. And luckily, we have a method that is called look at. We can use animator dot transform, then dot look at the player. And I think that's pretty much it for this video. Let's hit play. And there you go. Now we have the other states. So if we are close to the enemy, He's attacking and if we go far away from him he will go back to the chase state again also if we are too far he will switch back to his patrol state and yeah as you can see he's idle again so I think that's pretty much it guys for this video I hope you like it if you have any question or comment make sure to write it under the comment section down below also, don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel and hit the bell icon. I appreciate that. And I will see you in the next one.